Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs. K's Art Room. I'm excited that you're with me today. Our project is going to be based on Ephesians 4.2, which tells us about being tolerant, loving one another, and being patient as we study the Australian Aboriginal dot art. So for today's project, you're going to be using construction paper, any color will do, Q-tips and or pencil erasers, acrylic paint or temper paint, Sharpie, and a good attitude. Okay, so let's get started. For our first project, we're going to be making a handprint Aboriginal dot art. So I will start with my hand. This is where your white colored pencil or your white crayon comes in. And this is one of the most known type of dot art when people use their handprints. I'm going to trace all around my hand and then I'm going to cut it out. Now I have this one cut out and glued already to my brown construction paper. You can use any color construction paper, especially if you intend to use acrylic paint because it will really show up brightly. But also, temper paint will be fine. Once I have my hand on here, I'm going to start by dipping into my acrylic paint with my Q-tip. And this is the fun part because you can just start adding dots, basically anywhere you want. I have a lot of Q-tips here so that I can use as many colors as I want. The idea is to use the Q-tip for dot art. So we don't want to smear. The technique is just dots. I'm going to use, I think, a different color now. I can flip my Q-tip over or I can get a new one. And I'll start filling in the dots. If you want to do thicker dots, then you can use your pencil eraser but it has to be a new eraser. That way, you can have nice, big dots. So maybe I wanna use green. And I'm just going to start tracing all the way around. Some fun facts about Australia. You can find 10 of the most deadliest snakes in Australia. They also have over 10,000 different beaches, which I think is pretty cool. And there are more kangaroos than people in Australia, if you could believe that. So I could keep going. Here are the colors that I had chosen. And I can keep going until I'm happy with my project, until I think that I am done. Here is a white one. White works really well because you can also see all the colors. And this one, I didn't cut out a hand. All I did was draw out a hand, so you can do that as well. Enjoy making your Aboriginal dot art.